This video depicts a typical installation of 3M Interam Endothermic Mat, commonly referred to as EMAT, onto a metallic conduit to achieve fire-resistive protection of electric circuits. In this example, three layers of EMAT will be applied to the conduit. The number of layers required depends on the size of the conduit, the duration of protection desired, and on what fire intensity is of concern. It is recommended to mark the layers as you install them to help keep track of the progress of the install and as an inspection and quality control measure. We begin with a conduit elbow, also called a sweep. There are several methods of installing EMAT around a sweep. The methods can be used interchangeably and a hybrid of three methods will be shown here. The common characteristics of all methods are that the EMAT overlaps circumferentially a minimum of 2 inches or 50 millimeters, but at joints are allowed where EMAT adjoins other pieces on the same layer. If gaps exist, they must be filled with an appropriate 3M fire barrier sealant, either CP25WB plus or FB3000WT. Establish where the sweep transitions from straight to a sweep. Then determine the radius of the sweep at the outside, or the heel, the inside, or the throat, and along the center line of the conduit. Determine the circumference of the conduit with a tape measure. You could also use a length of EMAT as a template. This has the advantage of automatically accounting for the length needed where the EMAT overlaps onto itself. Find the location where the mat meets itself and then add 2 inches or 50 millimeters. The first layer will be wrapped using the wedge method. Cut wedges to a 3 inch or 76 millimeter width. Begin at one side of the sweep section and wrap the strip around the conduit, overlapping 2 inches or 50 millimeters onto itself. Use filament tape such as 3M filament tape 898 to fasten the EMAT to the conduit and also to fasten the EMAT to itself. This provides a temporary hold. At the heel of the sweep where there is a gap between the strips, fill the gap with fire barrier sealant to a depth equal to the EMAT itself. Tool the sealant into the joint. After the sealant is applied and tooled into place, Apply 3M Aluminum Foil Tape 425 over the joints. Press the tape down firmly. A roller is a useful tool to ensure a good bond. The second layer will be wrapped with the diaper cut method. This method uses a piece that has been cut so the continuous section of EMAT will cover the outside diameter of the sweep or the heel. Toward the edges of the EMAT, material is removed to account for the smaller diameter on the inside of the sweep or the throat. With tails of filament tape applied, anchor the EMAT section to the inside of the sweep. Wrap the piece around the conduit and secure it to itself with filament tape. Depending on the radius of the sweep, an additional section of EMAT may be needed to complete the coverage. Since the joint between pieces is tightly butted, sealant is not required. Cover all seams with aluminum foil tape and firmly press down. The third layer is installed using the accordion style method. Where the middle of the mat has material removed to fit the length of the throat of the sweep, and the edges of the mat are intact to fit the longer length of the sweep at its heel. For a straight run with individual layers, a full width of EMAT can be used. Cut the EMAT to a length that wraps around the circumference of the conduit and overlaps onto itself. Measure the width between the edge of the EMAT and the face of the wall. Apply sealant at the assembly EMAT interface. Apply 4 mm thick aluminum foil tape such as 3M Aluminum Foil Tape 425 to the circumferential and longitudinal joints. Press the tape into place. For easy identification, mark the location of the seam so that the seam in the next layer of the EMAT can be properly offset from it. Apply the second layer piece with the seam offset a minimum of 2 inches or 50 millimeters from the seam in the first layer.
Apply the third layer piece again with the longitudinal seam offset a minimum of 2 inches or 50 millimeters from the seam in the previous layer. For a straight run with a continuous wrap, a convenient way to determine the length of EMAT required is to use a narrow section as a measuring device, which is casually called a snake. This snake is wrapped around the conduit to determine what length of EMAT is required to go around the circumference of the item, and then a 2 inch or 50 millimeter multiplier is added for every nominal layer of EMAT. In this instance, because it's a nominal three-layer system, the EMAT is brought around three times, and then six inches or 150 millimeters is added to determine the total length. With a full-width piece of EMAT cut to the length determined by the previous measurement, the piece is anchored to the conduit using filament tape, and then wrapped around and attached to itself with filament tape. When the continuous wrap method is used, the gap between the adjacent sections must be filled with 3M fire barrier sealant, either CP25WB plus or FB3000WT, to the full depth of the EMAT. Tool the sealant into place. Cover with aluminum foil tape and press down the tape. In some cases, a collar is required to be centered over the butt joint of the outermost layers. Consult the individual design listing to determine if this is required. When needed, the collar should have a minimum width of 4 inches or 101 millimeters, and the length of the collar should overlap 2 inches or 50 millimeters onto itself. The snake method can be used to quickly determine the required length. With the collar properly sized, center it over the butt joint and wrap it around onto itself. Secure it temporarily in place with filament tape and then tape the edge with aluminum foil tape. When hangers are in direct contact with the conduit, they should be insulated with EMAT. If they are not insulated, a thermal short can occur which allows too much heat from the fire to be conducted into the protective envelope. By insulating hangers and the rods they are attached to, the integrity of the overall EMAT envelope is maintained. When wrapping around a hanger, notch the EMAT to fit around the hanger shape. Apply sealant at the gap between the EMAT and the hanger body. Tape the seams. The next piece should be prepared in a similar way, with notches made to accommodate the shape of the hanger. Fill the gaps with sealant and cover with tape. The final piece is also notched to fit around the profile of the hanger. Fill the gaps with sealant and cover with tape. After the layers needed on the conduit are in place, if portions of the body of the hanger protrude, straps of EMAT should be built up on the sides of the hanger body until the hanger body is covered. After the needed straps are in place, to complete the coverage of the hanger body, install steel bands onto the strap stacks. When wrapping a partial section of a rod, the threaded rod gets covered with EMAT for a distance beyond the EMAT envelope. The EMAT wrapped around the rod abuts the top of the stack of strips and will extend a minimum of 12 inches or 30 centimeters along the length of the hanger. Consult the individual design listing for the required length and layering of the rod wrapping. Once the wrap is in place, it should be permanently affixed and caulked and taped at the edge. When the design goal is not only to prevent heat from affecting the conduit via conduction through the hanger assembly, but to also protect the hanger assembly itself, it can be necessary to wrap the entirety of the hanger assembly all the way up to the underside of the structure that it's attached to. Follow the same procedure as wrapping a segment of the rod, but continue the EMAT coverage up to the underside of the structure.
an option for hanging the wrapped conduit assembly that avoids the need for notching the e-mat around the profile of the hanger body is to use a hanger that's sized to fit around the diameter of the e-mat. Steel bands are applied to the e-mat as at the permanent fastening. Bands are required 1 inch or 25 millimeters from the edges of the mat and typically spaced a maximum of 12 inches or 61 centimeters on center. The typical band sizing is minimum 1 half inch or 13 millimeters wide by 0 0.020 inches or 0 0.5 millimeters thick. Check the individual design listing for banding width and thickness. The bands are passed through wing seals and tightened with a band tensioner. Then the wing seals are closed. Note that if the band tightening affects the sealant at the EMAT assembly interface, additional sealant should be applied and tooled into place. When collars are used, they require banding at both edges spaced approximately 1 inch or 25 millimeters from the edges. Plan for the worst. Protect with the best. 3M Interam Endothermic Mat-E 5A4 for protection of critical electrical circuits.